Hey y'all, um, so I was asked recently uh, a question about how to read books like omnibus volumes and big books um, without damaging the spines and stuff and there is a pretty good technique that I've come across that works well for uh, reading these books like this and uh, so I'm gonna make a quick video to kind of share that with you. First, I need to show off what a uh, omnibus with a damaged spine would look like. So if you don't read them correctly, what could happen to your stuff? Um, sorry, I'm using my bed as a flat surface. I don't have a table right now because we're in the middle of moving. So I've already disassembled my table in the kitchen. Anyway, I'm going to use one of, this was one of my first and my first really huge omnibus. Um, so this is what I'm going to use as my example, uh, is my Mighty Thor by Walter Simonson omnibus. Now this was probably like the third or fourth omnibus that I ever got. You can see, right, the spine here is kind of going in. You can see there's some creases in there. And that's because when I was reading this book, I just went ahead and opened it like that and you know I kept reading it like this uh, let's see you can see what's going on here and when you do that this the spine forms kind of a lip down there and uh, when you read through it slowly like not flipping hundreds of pages at a time that lip that little pocket that's forming right there folds and gets worse and worse and uh, eventually like you get these creases that are gonna form like this right there where it's like folding on itself at a hard angle and you don't want that you want to keep your books in as good of condition as you can um, now it's not like terribly terribly noticeable except for the fact that this has a divot in it that you can clearly see um, but still that's that's not something that you want and you're spending that much money on one of these books that's definitely not something that you want to see happen. So this technique, and right here I'm I'm using, I just got this one, I just took it out of the plastic wrapping, um, is the new printing of the Alias on bus. It's a little bit different because the spines on the newer books are a little bit, uh, they're made with different material, so it's going to be a little different, but um, I'm going to display with this book the reading technique that will save you from getting that type of damage. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to place this, and it's better on a hard surface, but I don't have a hard surface, as I mentioned. You're going to place it spine down, and then you're just going to let the covers go down, and then you're going to slowly put down some pages, just a few pages at a time, not too much. And so you're going to keep doing that, and keep doing that, and that's going to help you... Uh, kind of relax that spine in a good direction. It's not going to be leaning on one side or the other. It's it's going to be relaxed right in the middle. So you're not going to get a crease on the spine. Uh, now this is, obviously this is going to be more detrimental for a bigger book, and this Alias Omnibus is only, you know, about 30 issues long, so it's not too much to be worried about, but um, on something big like the uh, Infinity Gauntlet Omnibus, for instance, this is something that you would definitely, definitely want to do to your book to make sure that the spine gets uh, properly stretched out. So now I've reached the middle, and you see that that in the middle, there's that pocket right there, and that naturally forms. So now, if I'm reading it, it's gonna already have that natural, you know, this side right here where the stitching is, is going to have uh, been relaxed a little bit, and the outer spine is gonna stay straight. And that's what you want. That stitching should be the part that curves, not the outer spine. The outer spine should not uh, curve inward. It shouldn't, like on, on that Mighty Thor when I was showing you, when I read that, 
the first time I read it, it would the outer spine would come and curve with the stitching. And that's not what you want. You want it to look like this. That way, your spine stays in great condition, and all you really have to worry about is making sure that you're not tearing the pages and making dings on stuff. So that is my tip for how to read your big books like this and not to uh, get any damage. So you want to make sure that you do that. Uh, every time that you get a big book, especially if it's one that you're actually going to read. I know myself, I buy a lot of them that are for series that I've already read uh, for, you know, just spitballing. Uh, I have the uh, Animal Man Omnibus or my Sandman Omnibuy, and those I haven't opened them but to like flip through because I've already read the series so I didn't do that stretching exercise but for anything that you have that you are actually going to read you should probably do something like this if you know I have the uh, I mean I just got alias so it was a good thing for me to have done this on here it wasn't a huge one I mentioned infinity gauntlet I've read the event but I haven't read excuse me the tie-ins for that one so I'm gonna have to stretch that one out and make sure that it doesn't get that crease on the spine. Um, I do think that Marvel's spines, what they change to, as opposed to the really, like these are, it's thicker. So I think there's less of a chance for that to happen. But if you're ordering some of the older ones, if you have that Mighty Thor, if you have uh, Ecstatics, Ultimate Spider-Man, uh, New Avengers, the older uh, ones before they changed the, uh, the way that the covers looked, then you definitely want to do that because those are more uh, susceptible to folding. Uh, now, if you have a glued volume, like a lot of DC's omnibus from their earlier ones, like the uh, the Wolfman and Perez Teen Titans ones, or the Hawkman one, then you don't have to worry about it because that stuff doesn't even go. It, it, you're not going to be able to... The, the spine is glued on there. The outer There is no outer and inner spine on those. It's one and the same, which is really annoying. But on anything else, especially the thicker they are, you're going to want to do this. So I hope that helps. Uh, I hope that this helps some people who didn't want to damage their books, and I hope this helps the uh, person who did ask me about this. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, ask questions. Check out my uh, page, www.theomnibuscollector.tumblr.com, um, where I answer questions.